In a previous lesson, we covered how you can create a new flow from scratch. But in this lesson, we're going to discuss how you can leverage the existing list of Flotion built templates to speed up your build inside of Flotion. Templates are pre-built copies of useful hubs, portals, and business OSs that are that have the Flotion editor embedded inside of them. So if we were to have a new project, let's say that we were considering building a new client portal from scratch, this is what we've done with our new flow in the previous lesson. But what if we already kind of know roughly what we need and we simply wanna start from a new client portal template and add to it as needed. We can begin by hitting this new client portal template instead of starting from scratch. So this will be a client portal from the template. And once again, we're gonna wait 30 seconds to a minute for this full client portal to load up. Depending on which version of Flotion you have installed, you will see a different version copy for the client portal and various templates as well. But this is now loaded and ready to go. So you'll note already there are a couple of changes to this particular template compared with a new empty flow. In the side menu, we already have several pages pre-built and ready for us. But just like with our previous new empty flow, we have some welcome instructions. We have a new page, we have our map, and we have our full editor and list of components. The setup process for our new template project is slightly different to that of the new fresh flow. And that's simply because we have a few more pages to sync up. So you'll remember that when we start a new flow from scratch, we need to first create a synced block from our full menu. And that step is gonna be exactly the same. So I'm gonna create a new sync block. I'm gonna copy and sync that's now in my clipboard. And once again, exactly the same process, I'm going to configure the new page template first, click into the new page itself, and where it says, to where, where I'm instructed to paste this full menu, I'm going to do so as such. So now we have one copy of our menu on the new page template, and now we can create new pages rapidly with our menu in place and all of our other pages ready. But what about the other pages that are already part of this client portal template? So if I click into this meetings page, we'll notice that there's the, media, the synced menu is not there. Instead, we have an instruction just as we do on our new page template. The other parts of the workspace are ready to go, but once again, we simply are gonna to need to paste and copy this menu in. Now, this will be a slightly tedious process the first time you do it, but fortunately, once you paste the menu into each page, you do have a copy of the pages that need to go uh, just below, and so you can rapidly quick click through and add your menu to the pages as needed. As you can see, the client portal itself has built out a meetings page. There's a shared drive for storing and sharing documents. There's a project timeline along with a list view and an archive view. We have our tasks and actions for the particular project. And the good thing about starting from a template is that you are not stuck with this particular list of pages, we still have our full editor capabilities, we still have all of the components, and we still have the ability to rapidly create new pages, so that if I wanted to create a new page inside of this client portal, I could, let's say I wanted a page that was specifically for video creation, I could create that inside of my new client portal, give it a little icon, and I can drag and drop new components as needed just as with any other flow. So we have this now set up and our remaining pages, uh, or our existing pages remain the same. Now we just have a video creation page in there as well. So you can either go through and update all of the pages with this synced block menu at the very beginning of your setup. 
Otherwise, as you come across the pages, you may simply need to head back to a home page or any page with the block. Once again, copy it to your, uh, to your clipboard and then you can continue pasting and removing the instruction as needed. So that's a quick introduction to using templates inside of Flotion.